Welcome to day 10 of our 21 days of fasting and prayer consecration. Our focus for day 10 are its careers. We want to pray always that God will make provision for his people and that everything that we aspire to do to be able to be a blessing to our family, to our communities, that all of those things are taken into consideration. We want to read Mark chapter 8 verse 34. And when he had called the people unto him, his disciples also, he said unto them, Whosoever will come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. I think this speaks very clearly uh, to sacrifice and the things that are needed personally in order to be a success. Uh, the great master Jesus himself is just advising those who want to follow him that it's going to take commitment, it's going to take sacrifice. And so as we begin to focus on our careers, uh, we want to make sure that we are looking at the appropriate level of sacrifice that we're making towards making ourselves who we are. And every gift that God's given to, unto us is available to us for us to enjoy and for us to be able to make a living uh, in this life. And so for those that God is using, we, we're, playing, uh, we're praying specifically for marketplace ministry, that your career is really your calling, and that your workplace is really your pulpit, and that your, uh, your colleagues and your associates are really, is really the harvest that God has planted you, set you in that, com that community, that company, or if it's your own business, whoever you interact with, God has given you a career to reach souls. And we want to make sure that our focus is not just revenue driven, it's not just resource driven, but it also has a specific emphasis to make sure that God uses us in a wonderful way to be able to reach the world, the kingdom of God, and to be able to share the message of success. What greater message can there be? What greater business card is there than to testify that the business that you have, the career that you have, God afforded you the opportunity not just to be able to serve our families and serve our community, but in order to serve Him. And if we see our career paths as something that's going to be indicative of what God is doing, it will begin to reap many blessings in our lives. God opened the door for us to be educated. Thank God for the scholarships and thank God for the sacrifice of our parents who enabled us to receive education so that we might not just be hired for a job, but many of us now are in a career. There is a purpose. There is tenure. There's a long-standing commitment to do the work uh, that you're called to do. And at the same time, to continue to be an example and continue to bless and enhance people's lives because of your professionalism, because of your excellence, and because of your duty. And so because of the sacrifice that others have made, we have the careers that we need to have today. So we're praying for them. We're praying for those who are unemployed that, that need to gain gainful employment and for those who are seeking to pursue and increase and enhance and grow uh, in their careers. All of this requires prayer. Our job is to pray for everything, to ensure that God's presence and power is part of everything that we do and everything that we're part of. And so we want this to be our prayer today as we focus on day number 10 on careers, that where God has placed you, See it as an opportunity, an open door. Revelation teaches us, Behold, I've set before you an open door. What is this an opportunity to achieve? What is this an opportunity to, to see? How is this an opportunity in the marketplace? Is an opportunity to show forth the gospel, the love of Jesus Christ. And it's not just what we do, but how we do. Jesus said of, of his disciples, By this shall all men know, that ye are my disciples, if ye have love one for another. It was at Antioch that the disciples were first called disciples because they were Christ-like, or they were called Christians rather because they were Christ-like. It was not because they wore badges or they, the way they dressed. It was their mannerism. It was their, it was their culture. It was certain were their values. It, it was the way they did work. It was the way they went around in the community and uh, the values and the purpose they showed. This is how they were notified and then tagged as Christians. What can it be said of us as we engage the marketplace, as we engage our jobs, our employment, our careers? Many of us have made lasting relationships and friendships uh, that have uh, been grown over a number of years. Personally, I remember spending almost 10, almost 15 years in higher education. We're able to make some wonderful relationships and still some of them continue until today. 
what is the mark you've made what is the emphasis you've made and what is what what are the signs that even though you had a career you also had a calling paul teaches us that we should walk worthy of our vocation that is a spiritual vocation but i i believe this can also be transferable that we should walk worthy of our careers that once god has opened a door for us to be successful that we have a responsibility to be able to show forth uh, the blessings and the favor that god has upon our lives uh, in a significant way we're praying and blessing god for careers so because we have careers we want god to bless us so that we become a cross bearer in the marketplace I, I we just don't want people to see our skills they want we want people to see us that there is some authenticity some some genuineness in our approach and our attitude that we generally care for people it's not just about the work it's not just about the career but it's the way that we do the way that we carry ourselves the way that we impact people's lives i want god to anoint us so that we might be progressive and that we might grow and that we might be not just employable but marketable and um and promote and that god will promote us in those areas in which we serve it's a marvelous thing to to have a job and employment it's greater to have a career and even greater to use the opportunities to enhance the kingdom of god uh, we understand that our purpose is is to go into the marketplace and with with fresh appeal with fresh anointing uh, bringing fresh ideas and fresh spirit uh, to the environments the, the our offices should be enlightened because of us the the very the very uh edifice that we work in our location should be impacted our interactions with with people of all levels of management the car park attendant those that serve in the food industry whatever our situations are we want to make sure that we have an impact in the marketplace so that our careers might flourish it's not just about what we earn but at this level is about what we are worth and I believe today God has caused you to be worth something. We have to learn how to sacrifice and, and to give up certain things. Certainly in sacrificing for our families is significant. But we want God to do that. We want uh, our unseen and unspoken ways to be seen and heard. We want to be noticed, become noticeable so that someone might ask, well, why is it that you're so positive and why is it that you're so enlivened and why is it that you're so optimistic about life certainly in a time like this when everything seems to be trending negative because of uh, the coronavirus pandemic that's happening in our world and yet in the midst of this we go to our jobs we we open our businesses we launch our careers we launch our visions and we do it with all graciousness with all courage and we believe that god is going to bless us uh, in a significant way and so it's because of the authority of God that we dedicate ourselves to learning and so to get better careers we need to be better prepared and so this is why we thank God for the educational paths that we've all been on some of us are still finishing up degrees finish them complete the course complete the degree it's going to put you in places and bring you for, before people where again even your ministry and your light is going to have an opportunity to shine it's going to be a great time for you uh, to promote and showcase who you are and that you're not just a skill set you're also a gift set that God has given you gifts and talents to be utilized in in such a clear way and so we pray for careers we pray that God would launch us that God would continue to bless us pray that there be no lack in our homes that our careers will survive our jobs will survive that everything that God's put his hand towards towards in our lives it will be prosperous so i thank you we thank god for the jobs and for the careers and we personally praise god for who you are and the difference that you bring to your employment or to your workplace to the marketplace i support and ce celebrate the difference that you bring every day you turn up with the same light with the same joy with the same understanding with the same encouragement it's being noticed not just by others it's been noticed by God and so we're praying for careers today on day number 10 father in the name of the Lord Jesus we thank you for the provision that you've made by causing us to be employed and 
and causing us to others to be in careers that are leading um, to substantial service, time, and effort. God, we thank you for the opportunity now as you begin to bless our jobs and bless those who are unemployed and need and need work. Send work, God, or send creativity to begin a business, but send help out of Zion. We thank you for the opportunity as we just rest for a moment to thank God for what we have. Sometimes it's not what we want to have, but thank God for the ability to even be able to have a job and a career that can provide for our families and help us to uh, be instrumental in the spreading of the gospel. And so I breathe today into our lives the kind of tenacity and optimism that brings about change as we again consecrate ourselves over these 21 days. Help us to do well. Help us to represent you well. Help us not to be an embarrassment to you. We want you to be proud of our efforts. Be proud of the decisions that we make so we can continue to grow and be instrumental in the work of the kingdom building. We thank you, we praise you in all things. These things we pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Beloved, I wish above all things that you prosper and be in health even as your soul prospers. <laughs>